Greco Latin square design. This is a type of block design. Therefore, the goal is to reduce the experimental error. In the randomized complete design, block design, we have seen to reduce experimental error in one direction, blocking one factor. Of course, you can block multiple factor. Um, but and then in the Greco, in the Latin square design, we have seen blocking ex error in two different directions. In the Greco Latin, we can block three different factors. Now, the interesting thing about this design, it does not necessarily increase the number of experiments. At the same time, it blocks three disturbing factors and nuisance factors that might affect the experimental results that increases the experimental error. So we can reduce experimental error in three different directions. You can simply think of like two different Latin square uh, Mars into one. Um, so um, you can think of basically one kind of superimposed on the um, other um, like this. Um, so um, let's let's talk about an example. So in the openeducator.com um, there is an example for Greco Latin. So this same car wheel positions where you have four different wheel positions and then therefore we can um, we can add three more factors with three level for each, um, tire brand, the climate conditions, um, and also the car models. Um, so there's three factors we can control, um, not really control, but we can block them uh, to reduce the experimental error. So I have copied this data in Minitab already. Let me show you how to analyze it. So I start DOE, sorry, ANOVA, generalized linear model, tire wear, and then these four of these factors, just run it. Okay, then it looks like both tire position and tire brand, they're significant. Um, so you can see here is all detail analysis. Um, output here in the openeducator.com. So once you find it significant, the main interest is the tire uh, position wire, basically, that which position wire the most. So this is the null hypothesis. So if it's significant, we reject it. Um, very low probability for the null hypothesis. So we reject that. We accept the alternative. So the next question would be, okay, so they are not different. So which one is the worst or which one is the best, things like that. So then you run the post hoc analysis. Let me show you how to do that in Minitab. Very simple, few clicks. Um, ANOVA, generalized linear model. After you run it, you will see that the comparison is live. Then you can click on there and select basically, we have two significant factors and then there's the result. So here is the output. Uh, basically, um, it looks like the front two tires wear more, the front positions wear tire more compared to the rear positions. And one of the tire brand found to be um, least uh, wiring compared to the other tire. So this guy is better, the delta type of tire. 